All right, we're going to Canada. Uh, one of my favorite guys, Hap, if you want to read a great book, Personal Socrates uh, is a phenomenal book that Mark Champagne wrote. Uh, Mark, you're you're up with Hap. Thanks, Scott. Hap, thank you. Thank you so much for your, your time and your energy today. And probably most importantly for keeping me and my family dry and warm every ski season. So hey. uh, especially in Canada, we've got a lot of that. So thank you. My question is, I mean, no doubt. I mean, you've, you've got such a, a great energy and, and motivation. I'm just curious, you know, to have that longevity and that, that, that energy. Is there anything that you've noticed that you prioritize for the, the health of your mind, like any practices or rituals and that are practical uh, and consistent that just keep you sharp and, and, and the mind healthy? Good question. Very good observation. By the way, where are you in Canada? I am just outside of Toronto, Blue Mountain. Okay. But when you said that, I was thinking about another environmental company that I think is doing great, but it's, it's on the other side of the country. It's a company called Ecologist. And oh, okay. they're out of Victoria and Vancouver. They're doing it. But anyway, that diverts. The, the, the practice I have, the first one is being curious about everything and surrounding myself with new people. So I'm excited about it. Uh, frankly, as you can see from my gray hair, uh, I'm in a in a peer group with a lot of people that are, are complacent, and they they kind of think, well, you know, I had mine, I'll get mine, you know, that's it, and they they don't have commitments there. So I try to be around young people. I teach, and I teach at universities uh, to give back, but at the same time to get from that. I I learn about new things. I wouldn't be as involved with AI as I am. Uh, other than being that. And I have no interest personally in cryptocurrency, but I had to learn about it as a result of doing that. And I'm curious and, and read that, but by surrounding myself with young people who are doing it, it is great. And then uh, the other one is that you know, I, I get up early and attack today because I, uh, my body clock seems to work that way, but I get a good chance to take control of my life for a few hours before everything starts coming in. In, in a big way. And I, I think that's helpful. So I'm more proactive rather than reactive to be able to do that. And then I, for whatever reason, I believe it's healthy to throw yourself into something that you don't know what you're doing. For example, this TED Talk that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I've never done a TED Talk before. I've done a lot of speaking, but I've never done a TED Talk. So why not do one and see what that's about and see how they do it and how it's different and the challenges of doing it in a different way that's out there. And by putting myself in an environment where I don't know what's going to happen, it is an environment that then... I really am attenuated to think, quick, how do I put this thing together? I know I can do it, but how and when and why? God, incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hap, we've got a, a gentleman on, on with us today. Uh, I don't think he has a question, but his name's Robert Hamilton Owens. Uh, and at 71, he decided, uh, why don't I spend 43 days rowing across the Atlantic Ocean? Uh, so we've got, uh, we've got some unbelievably interesting people that are very like-minded uh to yourself um amazing Congratulations. that's great yeah he is uh 